guys, it's me, Brina. Today I'm going to be doing my July State of the Union, which is basically just my ins and outs of the month. And this is instead of a favorites video. So my first in is this Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. And I got the special edition packaging, which is so cute with the blue flower. I love the smell of this. I don't really like the really typical just florally, florally, yeah, florally scents. Fl florally? Florally? I don't know. So this one, I guess it is supposed to smell florally because it has pictures of flowers on it. Well, not pictures, but just little flowers. So I assume that it's probably supposed to smell like a daisy. Also, the title is daisy. But to me, it smells kind of like a mix of just regular perfume scent with chlorine and grass. And I have a really bad sense of smell, so to me, a lot of perfumes smell the same. But this one is really unique, and that's why I really, really like it. And then my out for perfumes is this one, and it's the... DKNY Be Delicious in Fresh Blossom. I do really like the original DKNY Be Delicious. The red apple one is okay, but this one, it's just, it doesn't really smell like anything special at all. I think that you could find a million perfumes that smell just like this, and I just really don't like it. It was going to be my spring main scent and my summer main scent, but I just didn't like it, so I really haven't been wearing it at all. And then my next in is switching the packaging for face powder. And I got this idea, well, not the idea, but I didn't know how to do this, and then Sparkalicious made a video on it. By the way, I call her Sparkalicious, even though her name is Morgan, or her YouTube username is Sparkalicious10. I'll put the link down below. But that's what I kind of do with YouTube people. Does anyone else do that? This is really random. But where you kind of call someone by their YouTube username, but leave out the numbers, so that's, like, what you think their name is in your head. Like, when I think of her, I don't think Morgan. I think... Sparkalicious. And when I think of Miss Converse 97, I think of Miss Converse and Vanessa's makeup. I think of as Vanessa's makeup. I don't think of her as Vanessa even. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah. So if I call them that, don't be like, oh, her name's Morgan or oh, her YouTube name is Sparkalicious 10, not Sparkalicious. I don't know. I mean, you can do that if you want because that's true and you would be correcting me correctly. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get back to this. So she made a video showing how to switch compacts and I think that's so much fun because I got this MAC Heatherette and this is in Alpha Girl so here it is and I just switched it with a regular mineralized skin finish so here's Alpha Girl in here and then here is the mineralized skin finish and this is my summer one because it's medium and then I just have a highlight right here it's just the mineralized skin finish plus highlight and it's called medium slash natural and shimmer and I just switched the stickers also. But yeah, I really like doing this because now I have a mirror so I can bring this around. And it's just really cute and I can bring this around and it makes me happy to look at. I don't know. And then I switched my winter one, which is my light medium, with a Hello Kitty compact. So I was really excited about that and I'll link the video in the down bar because I just think that's so cute. Okay, the next thing is my Stereo Rose and I use this as a blush. It's super pretty, and I know I said that this was overhyped. I still think it really is overhyped because it's really expensive, and it's it's not that amazing. I mean, this product isn't going to change your life, and it's really, really hard to get your hands on, but I still love it. Does that make sense? So I really do like it, and if you can get it, I would, but I just don't think that it's the most amazing product in the whole world, but I have been using it every day, and every time I use it, it makes me really happy, and I don't have any colors like it, and I do love it, but I just don't love it more than some other makeup products out there in the world. Okay, and then my out for blush, well this isn't really blush, but I use it as a blush. But it's this On a Mission Beauty Powder Blush, and before this month, I've been getting really into blushes this month, so that could be like another in, I guess. But I had just this powder blush before this month because I didn't like blushes because my cheeks are naturally pink, so I thought, what's the point? But now I kind of like the idea of switching up the color, but anyway, this color is just not pigmented at all, and I thought this was what blush was supposed to be like, so I would take a brush and really dig it in here and kind of wipe it on my cheeks, and a little bit would show up, and I was like, blush is pointless. It doesn't make you look any different because this blush just does not show up. Like, it shows up a little if I really, like, rub it hard, but it doesn't show up much so don't get this blush and I don't know if this is true with all beauty powder blushes but to me it just makes like no difference and so the first time I put on the Stereo Rose I had bright bright coral cheeks because I just dug my brush in because I thought that's what you were supposed to do with blush but apparently it's not and so I had to buff that out a lot and it was a lot of work but so now I know that blushes have a point and they do make good blushes out there it's just not this one 
Okay, and my next in is, well, I have two ins for lip glosses. One is this Dazzle Glass in Sparkalicious, and I love this color so much. It's this pink with multicolored shimmer, and it's super, super pretty. It's from the Alice and Olivia collection, and it's a Dazzle Glass cream, so it's really creamy, and I like the texture a lot. So I just love this. Every time I put it on, it's just so sparkly and fun, and I just love sparkly things, so I really like that. And then the next one is my MAC Lip Glass in Liberated, and I just love this color so, so much. It's just so fun. It's this yellow color right here, and like I said in my haul video, I had lost this in Michigan, and I found a new one, and I just was so excited. So I just love both of these so much. And my out, I don't actually have it with me because I returned it, but the new MAC Dazzle glasses, they're like the ones in the long skinny tubes from the new collection, the really colorful one. I don't remember what it's called, but I got one of those. I actually had to return it because it was so sticky, and I love sticky lip glosses. I love Dazzle glasses. I love the fact that when I use a creamy product on my lips, I end up rubbing my lips together a lot because it feels good to rub my lips together a lot, and then the product just disappears. But with sticky lip gloss, it doesn't make me want to rub the product. I don't want to go like this all the time, you know? And also when I go like that, it kind of hurts the inside of my gums. I'm just a big fidgeter, so that's why I do that. But with sticky lip glosses, it stays on my lips for a long time, and I don't end up hurting my gums or anything like that. So I really like them, but this one was beyond sticky. And it wasn't just that it was sticky. I felt like everything was going to stick to it. Not just my hair, which is kind of annoying when sticky things stick to your hair, but I felt like all the air not air, but you know, like particles in the air were sticking to it. Also, it says that the glitter is more finely milled than regular glitter, but I felt it. It felt really gritty to me, and I just, I did not like it at all. So, I mean, some people out there might like them, but if you don't like sticky, and you, yeah, if you don't like sticky, I would not get it. If you don't like gritty, I wouldn't get it. The good thing about it is it's really opaque, which is kind of nice for a lip gloss, and the colors are pretty, but I don't know. And then, my next in is this lipstick in Hellraiser, and it's a Dazzle lipstick. So, a lot of people don't like these, but I think they're really nice. They're just kind of a light wash of color and some glitter. So, it's really fun, and it's this purpley color. And then, my out is this, which is the Anna Sui in 371 Lip Rouge. And I love this. It's a great lip gloss, but basically, it's the same thing. It's just this glitter. So... It's just glitter with a light wash of color. And this was like $25. So, I don't really think this is any better than this. So, there really isn't any point in buying it. Except the packaging is really cute. But the packaging, to me, is not worth the extra $11. Like, $11, you could buy an eyeshadow and a, lip, a lipstick. Have I said lip gloss the entire time? Anyway. The next in is this Naked palette. And, oh my god. I know this has been on YouTube a ton, so I'm not really going to get super into it, but this is just the most amazing thing in the whole world, and I love it, and it's a great deal, and anyone who's starting out with makeup, anyone who has makeup, anyone in the whole world, anyone who doesn't like makeup, everyone should get this palette. And then my next out is this Urban Decay Summer Love Palette, and I do like this palette, like it's fine, I guess, but it costs 30 something dollars as opposed to the 44 that the Naked costs, and it only comes with four eyeshadows instead of 12. It only has one liner. And it's this brown liner in bourbon. And I don't really wear brown liner, so I find that this is not useful at all. And the Naked palette comes with a brown and black liner. And it also, this comes with a mini sin, and the Naked palette comes with a mini original. And I kind of like sin better, but I use original a lot more, so I guess original is more useful. And this is cute and everything, it's just not that worth it. And the Naked palette comes with smog. So, you already have smog. I don't really like Chopper. It's very, very orangey. I like Maui Wowie a lot, but I'm not going to buy, you know, a whole palette just for Maui Wowie when I could have Naked. And then, Flash, which is a nice color, but it's just not really that wearable. Like, I just don't wear it that often. But I do like this palette. It's just, I wouldn't buy it anymore considering the Naked palette is out. I basically would not buy Urban Decay eyeshadows anymore since the Naked palette is out, and it's just the best thing ever. Okay. Next is, for ins is Vex Eyeshadow by MAC, and it's this one right here, and I know you can't tell how pretty it is at all, but it's super pretty. It's this grayish, brownish highlight color, and I wear it pretty much every day. I got it this month, 
And I don't know if you can tell, but I've used more of this eyeshadow than any of my other MAC shadows. Just because I like to switch out my MAC shadows, but I can't get away from VEX. I just can't. It's so pearly, and the color is constantly changing, and it just makes your eyes super bright. And it's super fun, because I just think when colors change, it's just really exciting. So then my out is Shroom, and there isn't really anything wrong with Shroom, but it's just not VEX. And it just doesn't compare, because it's just this regular highlight color. And why would you want a regular highlight color when you could have, like, VEX? The amazing highlight color. I don't know. Just check it out in person because that will make a big difference. Okay. Okay. And then my next in is really cute holders. Okay. Okay. And then my next in is really cute holders for makeup brushes. And how funny is this? I don't know. I got it at Home Goods. My mom didn't appreciate it. It's a teapot. And then the back, it has hair. I think this is just like the funniest thing ever. And also, sometimes I keep just a liner brush in here just like this which I normally do I don't know why it wasn't in there and then my other brush holder for eye brushes is this and I don't know if you can tell but it's this like monster cheeky monster guy that I got at Party City and I put lima beans in it I think they're lima beans I don't know they're lent no they're lentils I think they're just green lentils they're either lima beans or lentils I'm pretty sure they're lentils like 99% sure okay and then my out is uglier makeup brush holders and I just used to use this one, but then I converted because I like the cute one better. Okay, in is this bag right here. And it's from Coach. And I just found this in my house. I didn't buy it. It's I think it's probably from the 80s, I think my mom said. And I would definitely recommend looking around your house for anything. I always dig through storage stuff because I just love to find it. I find stuff for jewelry. I find even if you're not the type of person whose parents would have anything that they don't use like just check your storage because you really never know what you're gonna find I found some money just different things so it was really exciting I just love digging through my house but I found this bag and it's this backpack I've been using it pretty much every day and it has this little coach thing and I wanted a bag like this for so long and I can't believe that my mom just had it sitting in the house because I whenever I go to vintage stores or anything I like look for these bags and I go on Etsy and look for these bags. I don't know why. I just always wanted like a nice leather backpack like this and it just has a zipper on the inside. And yeah, so my mom had this sitting around in storage and she told me I could have it because she doesn't use it anymore. And I was so excited. I love it so much. And it's just so cool like to have a coach bag that you just found. I don't know. Just to me that's like and this one in particular, this is just like the love of my life. I'm just so excited. I feel like this could have been my birthday present, you know what I mean? Because it's this like nice coach bag, but I just found it. So it was free. So that's amazing. I don't know. I'm just, I love this. And then my out is this bag from Goodwill, which I love too. I really do. And it has this Native American here, which is so, so cute. But first of all, it's really bad for holding stuff because it just doesn't have a lot of storage room. But it's a big bag, so it's kind of annoying like that but the worst part of it is the fact that this broke and it just kind of came off so I mean it was five dollars and it was good while it lasted and I'll probably glue it down or something because I still love it but I'm just very upset and so yeah so that's pretty much it and have a great day everyone I'm so excited that the videos can be 15 minutes by the way because as you probably know I talk way too much and I always have to make like part one and part two and that's super annoying so now it can be 15 minutes and you guys can hear me talk for even longer and you could always just close the video I'm sure all my video views like the attention rating is gonna be like zero because no one is gonna want to listen to me talk for 15 minutes especially because I still talk really fast because I'm still trying to get a lot in because apparently I can't even handle 15 minutes I don't think I don't know I could talk forever okay bye guys